What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play Ocarina of Time. This is episode 13. Last time, we finished up the Water Temple and came to Kakariko Village to discover it burning on fire as a result of the Shadow Monster, which the Sixth Sage Impa of Kakariko Village sealed in the bottom of its well. It has escaped, despite uh, Link and Sheik's efforts to contain it. And now uh, we have to go to the Shadow Temple to attack it, which is where it is gone, to supposedly fester its powers. But we're going to take a detour there, because we cannot go to the Shadow Temple yet, despite what Sheik has said. We need an item. So we're going to head back to the Temple of Time, and for the first time, we're going to turn back into a Kid Link, so... Quantum Leap seven years back into the past. And why not? I'll ride a Pona over there. Come on, Epona. There we go. Head back into the nightmare fest that is modern day uh, Castle Town. Hello, Redeads. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there are still other sages who need your help. In order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the pedestal of time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. The time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach this to you for when that time comes. The song to return you to the Temple of Time. The Prelude of Light. As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Link, we shall meet again. That exit was a little different than how uh, he's exited before. Oh well. Anyways, for the first time we're going to see the going backwards in time cutscene, so let's go ahead and watch this. And boom, just like that, we are a kid again. And no, by the way, um, it's not a locked off mechanic, you can go, you can, um, um, time travel as much as you want, we just haven't had to do it yet, so no, you're not locked away from it. We just haven't shown enough going back until now, because we haven't needed to. But now we can use all of our childhood items again. How cool. And we even have a Keaton mask to boot, so... <laughs> yeah, let's put the Keaton mask on for a little bit of variety. It's gonna be weird to see a uh, Hyrule not burning up underneath Ganondorf's rule, but... Yeah. So now we are going to head back to Kakariko.
And once we do head back to Kakariko, we will start off our um, our uh, first side quest, which we're going to be doing. It's an optional side quest, but we're doing it anyway because it ties into Majora's Mask, and I can't pass up an opportunity to talk about that game, so we're gonna have to do it. Alright, we gotta go see the, um, the guard that was guarding the, um, the, uh, Death Mountain Gate. If you remember correctly, he said he wanted a, uh, Keaton mask for his son, who he cannot go and see because his job requires him to guard this 24 hours a day. And even though he was kind of a jerk to us, I suppose, we don't have to be to him. <laughs> uh, do you think you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh. Is that a key something character mask? I heard he's very popular recently. He's my boy's favorite. That key something mask. If you don't mind, will you sell it to me? My boy will be very happy with this. You really are, Mr. Hero. You sold the 10 rupee mask for 15 rupees. You won a little profit. Let's go to the mask shop and pay back the mask price of 10 rupees. Not yet, but he's got his mask now. So I guess he's happy. Uh, we'll go back to the mask shop later. That's not what we're here for. Plus, you guys don't want to see me walk back to Hyrule Castle again, do you? Dark, narrow, scary. Well of three features. Uh, so... Impa said that she sealed, or not Impa, but Sheik said Impa sealed this in here. Um, that, that, I butchered that sentence so bad, oh my god. Sheik said Impa had sealed the dark um, force, which attacked us inside of that well. And, um, and yeah, she did. So we're going to head down there as a kid. Isn't that such a smart idea? We're going to need the Song of Storms for this, though. Song of, yeah, Song of Storms. I keep misspeaking. I do not know why. Just like if he had not. I wanted to set it up out here so that way when we played it inside. So remember how I said there was a time loop thing with this guy? How he taught us, he taught Adult Link the uh, Song of Storms because we taught him the Song of Storms as a kid? We're gonna do that. Darn it. Whoops. And it has to be, um, Song of Storms outside, too, so that's why we set that up. God, I love this version of the song so much. I, I, I'm not, a, I'm not a weeb, so I'm not in the nightcore. But I will admit, this song does sound way cooler. This song is really catchy when it's sped up like this. God, this game gives me so much good nostalgia. Just playing this game on N64 when I was little. All right. God bless Koji Kondo, dog. He makes so many good music. So many... I can't... Sp oh, my God. I'm, I'm like, tired. I have to apologize. I just woke up. I've been recording these past few videos in sync with each other. First of all, I, I've never said dog in my life referring to somebody. And I've never, um... Many music. All right. Let's just enter the... Let's just enter the bottom of the well here. This place is very creepy. Home to one of the, uh... 
most unsettling mini bosses in uh, Zelda. It's a mini dungeon, but we're going to uh, skip all of it. Hello there. We're just gonna walk right past you because. Oh, I guess not. Alright. Touche, Skotola. I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the eye of truth. That's what they're saying. So, uh, we're at a dead end, but we're not really. We can walk through this wall. And our goal is to drain this pool here in the middle. And that's very easy to do. That's the whole point of the dungeon. There's like 50 billion rooms, and you only have to go to this one. You might get hit by this guy. There we go. Hi there, Skulltula. I was so kind of you to do that. Alright, now we've drained the water, so now we just gotta go back to the start. Good creepy music though, I do like that. There goes a deck of sick we'll never use. Bombs for some reason, that's weird. There should be a Skulltula here. Good. Will he drop hearts for us? No. Alright. I'll find the book. Behind this door is Dead Hand. Uh, on many, uh, many nightmares from this guy as a little kid. Let's, uh, let's fight this guy. You have to get grabbed by one of his hands to activate it. I'm gonna guess it's kind of kind of you can't even see him, which is scary enough, and when you do, you wish you still could. Alright, dead hand. The whole point of this fight is he will grab you with his seemingly um infinite amount of arms underground. He's just this white fleshy bag creature covered in blood stains. You know, he'll bite you and then once you damage him enough, he'll go underground and just repeat the process over and over again. He looks like something out of Resident Evil, honestly. I really don't like him. He's really creepy. I kinda wish he would have showed up in the drawer's mask, honestly. Don't do it. We're dead, man. Not a very hard boss, but he takes you by surprise if you aren't expecting him. Break out. There we go. No. At least he's far away, so that's not gonna hurt us too much. Man, poor Link, dude. He's like, what? Ten years old? During this boss fight? I feel bad for him, he's definitely got some trauma. I know if I was 10, I wouldn't want to fight this thing. And there you go, he's dead. And even more disturbingly, his carcass never despawns in this game. He, uh, he lays there. Oh, it does despawn. What? Maybe it's the 3DS remake that it doesn't despawn. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it might be the remake. In the remake, they made it so he doesn't despawn. His body just sits there twitching. And now we have the Lens of Truth, which allows us to, uh, mysterious things are hidden everywhere. Be sure to try to use it outside of the well, seeing the truth will cost magic power, so yeah. This thing will allow us to see invisible objects, and it is required for the Shadow Temple, because the Shadow Temple is made up of a majority of invisible things. Which is why we had to come over here and grab it, so now we gotta go back to the Temple of Time, and um, turn into an adult. But, we don't have to walk there, because we can use the Prelude of Light. Which, um, we were supposed to go to the Temple of Time and then the Prelude after the Forest Temple, hence why Sheik said we needed to go to a mountain and underwater, which we've already done, uh, being the Fire Temple and the Water Temple. But I uh, got to that cutscene lake because I forgot to go back. It doesn't matter though. It's fine. So yeah, in, in case you're wi wondering why that didn't add up, that's why. 
I think I, I never miss. I, I've noticed a lot when I um record let's plays like this. I, I I stutter a lot it seems, and I also like misspeak a lot. And I think it's just because I, if I did to say something about myself, I think I am very well spoken most of the time. And I just attribute to honestly, it, it's it is hard to play a game, focus on doing stuff in a game and also talking, at the same time at the same time. There's a perfect example. I just skipped the whole word. So yeah, that's probably why. I've noticed that a lot with um, Let's Players early videos. They tend to uh, tend to not sound coherent a lot of the time, which I think is normal. I've I haven't been only been doing this for like seven months, and considering I took like a super long time to get Banjo and Earthbound done, that's actually not that not that long of a time. So I'll give myself the benefit of the doubt there. Prelude of Light, yes. Um, do we want to do that? Let's do the mask quest, actually. No. I think we'll do the shadow. I don't want to jump into a temple yet. Let's do... It is bothering me a little bit. Nothing's set to the bottom of that C button. Oh, well. We'll get... We'll, actually, we'll, it'll fix when we get the next mask. Let's go do the... Um, the yeah, the side quest. Of what we can, at least. Yeah, I don't know. So many... So many mysteries just walking around Hyrule trying to solve stuff. Every, um, like I said, I, I was lucky enough to grow up playing these games despite not being born when they were made. So I got the same experiences that N64 kids back in the day did, like trying to unlock Luigi and Mario 64 and stuff like that. So yeah, I was all over trying to find the unicorn fountain in this game and trying to beat the running man and all that stuff. Trying to find the secret temple in the sky. Yeah. I... And I bring that, I brought that up because, um, the running guy, the running man is part of this quest. Yeah, just so many, so many memories just running around this place, just trying to do something and, and definitely just wasting my time, it seemed, but it was fun. Happy mask shop. Hello there, you psychopath. Yes, I did. Alright, after that, we get the skull mask for 20 rupees. Borrow a skull mask. Uh, feel like a monster while you wear this mask. All right, happy mask salesman. Getting up close. What's this look like on Link? I'm gonna go back in there just to see because I'm actually curious. I'd never wear this one. Ooh, that actually resembles Majora a bit, honestly. Which I, obviously is not intentional, but I think they may have retconned themselves with that because that looks really similar to Majora. Which makes sense, because this mask is going to be given to the Skull Kid in the Lost Woods, which is where we'll be heading. And, um, the Lost Woods, obviously, and not the Lost Woods, yeah. Actually, we can use Sheik's Warp Song that we learned to get there. But, um, I'll, I'll walk over for a, mi a bit, because I just want to talk. Um, yeah, uh, at the end of Majora's Mask, Skull Kid, when he gets freed from Majora, he says that, um, Link smells like the fairy boy who gave him a mask in the woods, and yeah. Or taught him the song in the woods, I should say. Yeah, the Skull Kid we're about to go see is the same Skull Kid that caused the suffering of an entire country in Majora's Mask, so yeah, that's something. What is the, um. The minuet of four? Okay, so. A up. Okay, no, that's easy. Sorry, I, I had to wait for it. It's a crowd and I hope those songs finish. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. Sorry, you should be here. I'm glad. She is. Okay. Let on. Alright. No, we don't have to deal with moblins coming down here. That's nice, but I guess in ways, Deku's might be worse. I would really like to see a, a second remake of this game in Majora. The 3DS remakes are good, but I would like to see just a real quality from the ground up, not using the original source code, just a hard reset remake of Ocarina and Majora. They definitely deserve it. So we're just gonna try to get out of here as fast as possible. Because we need to reset. We lost woods. I don't want to be here. Stop sending me to places. I'm not trying to do the path right. I just want to... No! 
Let me leave. Darn it. Let me out. Alright. Let's see how it's gonna be, game. Well, we need to go here anyway, so. I guess that works out. Jeez. Why do I have a hard time walking up there? Well, actually, we, um, we're a skull kids. We don't want to talk to them yet. They're for rupees. Uh, we're at the wrong one, that's right. Yeah, there are multiple skull kids. Skull kid himself isn't one character, but he's, you know, majoritized by this skull kid. But they're technically a species, but I think by the time Majora, he's probably the only one around. Hence why he gets the name. But, um... Yeah, no, they are a species. They're, um, kids that have gotten lost in the Lost Woods, so they died and turned into spirits. Which is actually really disturbing. Trying to find... Where he is at. I cannot recall it for some reason. Really wish they gave you a map of this place if at some point. This is the Deku place. Yep. Okay, we don't need to be here. Um, uh, hmm. let's try again. Hold on. I think I've made this more complicated than it needs to be. What if we just hug the, uh, right? No? Okay. Uh, let me, um, hmm. That's weird. Here we are. There we go. There is Skull Kid. I like the actual Skull Kid. So yeah, we need to have this mask on, and then we need to teach him the song. Well, no, he needs to. Sorry, a song. We need to teach him. What's sorry, a song? I don't remember. Down. Okay. Ah, I try to keep up with the music. You know Saria's song. We should be friends. Here, take this. <laughs> Under that mask. Aren't you that Kokiri kid? Quite an unusual mask you have there. <laughs> I like it. It may me it may make me look a little bit tougher. Hey, why don't you give it to me? <laughs> Yowza? Who says Yowza? I'm gonna wear this all the time. 10 rupees for this 20 rupee mask. Yeah. Very, um, inconsequential, unimportant quest at the moment, but, man, that, that action that Link just did there just led to a whole, whole chain reaction of awful events for, um, the people of Termina. So... I apologize on their behalf at the moment for what we just caused. But nonetheless, um, actually, Prelude of Light would probably be easier to get back to Hyrule Castle with, wouldn't it? Mess that up, whoops. There's a YouTuber I watched, that good old days gaming guy. Good old, yeah, good old days gaming guy. He, um, he, he said in one of his, uh, videos, when he did a Let's Play of this a long time ago, he said that, um, he always imagined as a kid, like, he had, like, a lyric set in his song for the Prelude of Light, and it would go, Prelude, Prelude of Light, and it annoys me, it annoys the hell out of me, because I, I've always, I can't get it out of my head whenever I play that song in this game, I always... Hear those stupid lyrics. Every single time. And it's a very annoying. Yep. 
Yes, I did. I suppose this will give us something to do with our rupees. Now we have the spooky mask, yes. Scare many people with this mask. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be a redead. That does look actually really uncanny with the N64 textures. But we have to head back to, um, Kakariko with this thing, and we have to give it to that kid who wants to, uh, be like Dompe, who's in the graveyard. And I think after we do that, we will head back here, probably grab the last mask, and then turn back into the adult and call it an episode. And then next time, we'll probably tackle the Shadow Temple. But I did want to do the side quest, because... It's a nice, it's, I mean, I like side quests in Zelda games, obviously they're a huge part of the game's identity. And I wanted a break from doing dungeons, and I just wanted to explore and talk to the people of Hyrule for a while, so that's what we're doing. And we're not going to make it there before nighttime, are we? We're going to have to use the song of the Sun Song. He might be there at dawn, I'm not sure. At dusk. Alright, is he here? Yes, he is. Good. Yeah, it's down by the Gravekeeper. Oh, it's just a mask. I get a different kind of fright from that mask than I get from Dompei. Will you give that mask to me? With this mask, I'll be just like Dompei. Here's my money. Hold the 30 rupee mask to a kid for full price. You didn't mind paying it all? Wow, he did get scammed. Wow. I'd also, yeah, I am actually also surprised. Link, uh, I would not pay $30 for a small plank of wood with two holes or three holes in it, but oh well. Um, there we go. Damn those lyrics. I don't even remember what the next mask is. Um, I think I have an idea of what it may be. <laughs> yes, I do, with the bunny hood. Yep, that's for the running man. And unlike in Majora's Mask, it does not make us walk faster. I'm wearing it. But we will take it. For 50 rupees, wow. Yeah, we don't move any faster, unfortunately, but that's fine. Let's end off with the cutscene. This is the most rewatchable cutscene in any game, in my opinion. I could I could watch this thing on repeat forever. It's just really cool to me, <laughs> as it is to any Zelda fan. Alright, and with that, I think we will, um, I think we will, actually, no, let's warp song. Let's use Nocturne of Shadow real quick. Only one song left, too. So, hold on. Left, right, right, A. Left, right, down. This is my favorite of Sheik's songs. There we go.
yet not listen to it. So here we are in the graveyard as an adult up above um, where we got the uh, Sun Song from. This is one of the darkest, um, I mean that in terms of like the lore behind it. One of the darkest um, temples in all of Zelda. Uh, we need Den's Fire to open this up, so... Next time on Ocarina of Time. Listen. Yeah, shut up, Nami. Next time on Ocarina of Time. Um, I was gonna make a cool dramatic exit, but I guess Navi had to ruin it. Of course she did. Damn it, Navi. All right, next time we will enter the Shadow Temple and we'll see what's up with that. So I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.